Hey, so this is Ryan A again and welcome. Alright, so today we are addressing what you need to work on the internet. Right? I'm, I was surprised I didn't do this video before. But this is, yeah, this is where it all starts. Like you need to know what you need just to make money on the internet before you get into web design and all these other things. Right? So, like, subscribe, click the bell next to the subscribe button and comment if you have any specific videos and thank you a lot for this comment because this helped me to make this video that is very valuable right so let's begin the very first thing you're going to need is equipment there's no way you're going to work online without equipment and of course that will vary in relation to what skill you're developing so let's say you're doing videography of course you're going to need a proper camera you're going to need proper uh tools in relation to having enough memory for your content and so on right i do web design and thankfully all i need for a design is a laptop a pretty basic laptop you don't necessarily need an expensive laptop 16 gigs of ram 3.2 gigahertz no i have a i work now on a 2015 mac and it doesn't even have to be a mac right 4 gigs of ram 1.8 gigahertz uh, very very basic and does the job for me right as I said this will vary in terms of what you're doing online specifically but if you want more details on a specific skill and you don't know what equipment you need comment I'll do a video I'll just send you the information right number two you need a skill right you need a skill also that is valuable and makes money for businesses because the point of this is to add value to the clients that you have and ensure that it serves their business it makes them money it makes life easier for them right that's the point right and i i think that's something i learned even after and it seems very straightforward but you have a lot of people offering services that <clears throat> the bottom line is not to make people money but to make yourself money right and what i've learned is if you commit and yeah your bottom line is to make your clients money your client is going to give you clients your client is possibly going to give you more money if you're going to develop trust this is going to be a long-term relationship <clears throat> because you've provided them value that possibly they may not have gotten elsewhere and even if they did and they continue with you then you've provided the most value right so understand that yes you need a skill but that skill needs to have a specific purpose and serve clients right if you're fortunate enough to say you're doing drop shipping so drop shipping is a different game right you don't necessarily need clients to drop ship so for those who don't know what drop shipping is let me just give you a quick example let's say i have this camera that i'm this canon g7x right so this camera is on let's say uh what website on the canon website right for six hundred dollars right i could take that digital listing and i could put it on amazon and sell it for let's say seven hundred dollars and of course amazon will tax me for whatever specific tax they will have because of course different platforms will have different tax and different rates and so on and then i will get the profit after tax right so let's say the tax was fifty dollars i make fifty dollars right so six hundred plus fifty six fifty that's the tax that's the cost of the product i get the extra fifty dollars that's fundamentally drop shipping right so just to, let's get just to, sorry but just to f finalize that thought if i were to order that or have somebody order that product on amazon i could ship that product from the canon website to the supplier or to the buyer sorry that bought it on amazon so their specific address will be there and the information will be there that's basically drop shipping right <laughs> i'm sorry that may not be the most straightforward explanation but it's very 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 straightforward right so my main client and somewhat partner now is a guru in drop shipping and he has made millions of dollars literally this is not a dream right his name is matt gambrell 
and he has made millions of dollars but he has been drop shipping for maybe a decade right so yeah maybe if you drop ship for a decade <laughs> you'll be in the same space but it is definitely one of the easiest ways to make money online and you don't have the complication of dealing with clients right so yeah right so that's one thing you need a skill and understand what that skill entails and how that serves the clients right number three you need a bank account right so you need a way to receive money <laughs> because if you're working online the only way it works is if you make money a lot of people try and myself I've done it for years without making a dime of making very very little money and I've only recently over the past year I've been I've been fine-tuned by my brother and I've been given opportunities and now I have a better idea of what it means to make money online but yes you need an account like you need to be able to receive money so this I may do a video on this separately because this is something that a lot of people discount and do not have the information for right so a US account is usually best because of course e-commerce in the US that's the biggest market right by, by far right so let's say for example I'm from Trinidad and Tobago and I did not have a US account if I was to exchange US to TT I would be losing money right so it's ideal to have a US account among so many other reasons which I will do in another video but yes right so you need a bank account to receive money right so that's equipment a skill and a bank account right so that's what you need to make money online right that's it nothing else it's not too complicated of course after you learn this skill and you have the equipment and you have an account to receive money it will take time in developing that skill getting your first client keeping clients growing within the field but this is just a starting video to get you off on what you need right the last thing I'm just throwing this in so this is outside of the three but this is really tailored to the people who are thinking about traveling and working because it's something that I'm I've been exploring over the past two years and I discounted it a bit right reliable Wi-Fi you think <laughs> that everywhere will have the Wi-Fi that you need the speed yes the reliability but that is not the truth right it would vary in every country you go to so this is something that you need to think about and something you need to do research on especially if you're considering traveling and working or you're traveling at any point and you will be working to the place that you're going to you need to ask that question right that is not a no-brainer that is not a guarantee <laughs> it is not especially if you're getting into videography and you're dealing with uploading videos and you're dealing with bigger files you need a good Wi-Fi right and I would speak about this more in a bit detail because this is something else that I wasn't aware of and only in being in this space for a little while and working with my brother and other clients and then getting into developing content myself yeah <laughs> this is pivotal right so yeah guys I think that should be it like comment subscribe click the notification bell don't forget the three things you need and let's say four right you need equipment you need a skill that is valuable you need uh, a bank account that could take online payments and then you need reliable Wi-Fi reliable Wi-Fi okay this is Ryan Lee. I hope you enjoyed I'll talk to you soon okay bye